Yo, what is up YouTube? I'm Blitz5 and today if you've logged into Hearthstone or if you've been on social media, you've probably seen that Hearthstone has released the information on their latest expansion pack named Whispers of the Old Gods. If you haven't heard anything about this, we're well, in the right place because I'm going to quickly go through all the information and give you guys um, an update on something that's coming on Monday, which I think you will all be excited for if you play Hearthstone. And this update is that they're releasing nine new deck slots to the game. So if you don't play Hearthstone, basically you only have nine deck slots and you should be playing Hearthstone because it's a really great fun mobile game you can play when you're on the toilet or if you're busy you know out and you can't play your pc or console games it's a really nice game to play and then also translate to desktop but going back to hearthstone and the update basically you only have nine deck slots and with these all these new expansions and all these new cards and different variants on the decks we need more deck slots and this has been a big request online for a very long time so they're bringing us more deck slots we're gonna have a total of 18 which is awesome we don't have to delete our old decks all the time it's really nice and hopefully they'll increase this a little bit more obviously we don't need 50 deck slots but having more than nine is pretty important I would have been happy with at least 10, but 18 is awesome. I don't know why they have to do this in groups of nine, but that's cool with me. Um, so going to 18. Now going back to the Whispers of the Old Gods. So I am not the expert of Hearthstone um, World of Warcraft lore. A lot, you know, all of Hearthstone comes from World of Warcraft, but basically the old gods are the characters from within the World of Warcraft lore. And uh, I'm sure if you're a World of Warcraft player, you know a lot more about this than me. You can go down to the link in the description and check out the battle.net post for more information, or you can Google the old gods lore for World of Warcraft to read more about it if you're interested. But basically, um, there it seems like there's four old guards. Uh, old gods and their names are i'm gonna butcher these really bad but here you go i'll give it a try they are seethun okay that's like number one then there's yog sharon yog sarin however you want to pronounce it yashar j with a j like yasara but with a y yashar and then this the best one that i cannot pronounce is enzoth like nzoth enzoth I don't know how to say that, but we'll keep going. So those are the four old gods. I totally butchered them. But now you guys know, if you didn't know, those are the four. So they haven't released information on those, car on those cards. The only one they have is uh, Seathun, however <laughs> you want to pronounce it. And this seems like a really interesting card. i uh, put it up on the screen. And this can be comboed with these two other cards that they released called the Beckoning of Evil and the Twilight Elder. So this gives you an idea of what you can be doing with this card. Basically the battle cry is what's gonna be so important with this. When this, when you play this card, it's gonna split the damage that it has done to all their enemies. Um, and then these other cards have these really unique battle cries where when you play them, no matter where Seathorn is in your deck, it's gonna get an increase in damage. So it's really interesting. We haven't really seen this in Hearthstone, maybe one or two cards that when you play them affect a card that's already in your hand, I mean, or in your deck that's not even out or in your hand. So this is definitely a, a nice new touch to the game. And then um, it's another theme of this deck seems like they're going with this like corrupted kind of like almost evil style theme. Uh, they have released three other normal cards that aren't legendaries. And these these are the corrupted heal bot. Uh, well, this is the first one. And you get a little bit extra damage for a five drop. You get six six card for a five drop, but then the death rattles restore eight damage to your um, restore eight damage to the enemy hero. So obviously this would be used in like a silence deck or like a shadow priest deck. Um, so this these are in in decks that are definitely alternative style decks, like not your normal run of the mill deck, and that's a mech card. Then you have your Polluted Hoarder, which is basically an upgraded version of the regular Hoarder. I'm forgetting its exact name. It's a 4-2 in Death Rattles Draw card. Very nice. And then you have the Validated Doomsayer, which is the most interesting card of these three for sure, and a new mechanic in the game, which we could see in the future, is at the start of your turn, this minion's attack turns to seven so you know when the enemy is attacking you it's only a zero seven and when you're attacking the enemy it would be a seven seven so it's a really interesting card for a five drop and i could definitely see them doing this in further expansions or the later later expansions having it where like during your turn the health is this and during the enemy's turn the health is that or attack is this and attack is that yada 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 etc etc this could be a very interesting mechanic though in all seriousness uh that we'll probably be seeing in the future so I hope you guys enjoyed this update. As always, the expansion pack is going to be $49.99 for uh, 50 packs. The normal price is usually $50 for 40 packs. So you get this $10 bonus uh, when you pre-order. And obviously, 
video game companies love when you pre-order and you get this interesting cool card back which has a little bit more detail and has some animations which is like pretty new for hearthstone usually it's not in this much detail at least from the card backs that i've seen and lastly, the expansion pack is set to come out in late April or early May. So this should cover all the bases. Like I said, if you need more information, check out the links in the description box below. Hope you guys made it past my beautiful descriptions of these legendary old god cards that I have no idea how to pronounce. So as always, thank you for watching. I'm Blitz5 and peace out.